Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome back to our coverage from CES 2009. We're in the South Hall and we're going to go around and see what new technology there is for this year. So we're on the Dolby stand and I'm with David. Now David, we're going to talk initially about Dolby volume. More and more manufacturers adding it to their, their processors and amplifiers. So maybe you could tell our viewers what Dolby volume is. Sure, a great way to tell you about what uh, Dolby volume is, is given a scenario where so late at night you're watching uh, a drama and something you either switch channels or a commercial break happens and the inconsistent volume level is really loud, and so it'll kind of jerk you out of your seat. Dolby Volume, what that does, it's an automatic and intelligent volume leveler. What I mean by that, it makes the volume consistent regardless of the audio input. So you could have a Blu-ray player, a DVD, or even between commercial breaks, you know, the volume will be consistent. So it's, it's, it's sort of a set your volume at a certain level and set it and forget it. Yeah. And, and, I, and I guess that's not going to add any compression to the sound? No, uh, what it's doing is using a very highly sophisticated um, algorithm. So it, it seeks to maintain the dynamic range of an audio. And, but what it's ultimately doing is just lowering that entire range lower or higher to, uh, given uh, a user's uh, input. So uh, you users out there that get a new bit of kit that has Dolby volume on it, they don't have to worry about the dynamic range being compromised in any way. Yeah, exactly. And, and, uh, and in fact, in certain situations where the volume is turned down really low, um, just physically our ears can't hear tones at a low volume level. And what Dolby Volume does is it, it raises those levels up so that even at a, a low volume level, you could hear the subtle nuances and you don't have to be constantly cranking up the volume. Now, while we're, we're standing next to the receivers here, um, you have a new processing, post-processing, uh, system Dolby uh, P2Z. So maybe you can tell us about that. Sure. Uh, ProLogic 2Z is um, is it really a build off of our ProLogic uh, 2 uh, technology? Uh, ProLogic 2 took a two channel audio source and we uh, created a 5.1 channel. So ProLogic 2Z is taking a 5.1. Uh, discrete audio uh, signal either from Blu-ray or DVD and it's creating uh, two more signals and then these two additional um, signals are actually on the vertical plane so um, that gives you a, a new dimension in uh, surround sound because now you have the height element Previously, it was always about surround being horizontally around you. Now you can hear things, uh, a movie, for example, where a helicopter flies overhead, and you really get a sense that it is flying overhead. So, David, we're now in another part of Dolby stand, and we're standing in front of a display, um, and that's a little bit unusual for Dolby, so maybe you can tell us about it. Sure. Um, Dolby has traditionally been known as an audio company, and in... Um, in recent months, in recent years, we've been re really making inroads into the video space. And so what we've done for audio, in other words, bring uh, higher level quality, uh, consistent volume levels, all of those things really to make audio better. We're also taking steps to make the video better. And so what you see be, uh, b behind us is actually a, a reference model from a company called Sim2 using our technology. And that technology is called Dolby Vision. What ultimately is, is an algorithm or a software that intelligently maps out any video source, whether it's from DVD or Blu-ray, and it'll tell the LEDs in the background um, the dark areas and the light areas. So, by the way, let me back up. This TV, unlike traditional LCD TVs, is backlit by individual LEDs. And there are 2,200 individual LEDs in the back. And so they have a range from completely off to on and, tw and 22 gradations of gray. So what the net effect of all this is that the contrast level between the dark and the light areas is very stark, but also the color reproduction becomes that much better. Yeah. And obviously, uh, with it using LED technology here, 
does it do the auto dimming so it automatically dims yes exactly um it, it not only um but it's it's intelligent enough that it'll t uh, point out the light areas and it'll dim accordingly so certain areas you don't want it to be completely dim but you know like i said with the 22 uh gradations levels of um, gradations you get a really eye-popping effect now it's uh, it's sim 2's model that's here from italy sure. um Will it go to other manufacturers eventually? We're obviously talking with all of the manufacturers. The, uh, the technology is still relatively new, and so we're really excited and we anticipate that we'll see this uh, in the market shortly. So David, uh, just to wrap up on the Dolby stand today here at CES, you have a new bit of software for uh, all the gamers out there at AV Forums, so maybe you could tell them about it. Sure, uh, we're really excited uh, about our new technology called Dolby Axon. And what this technology does, it, it resides on the software, uh, in the game itself. So right now, when uh, there are, you know, a lot of people are getting into online games and multiplayer games, and what the current situation is, you might have a mono signal or even a 5.1 signal, but that audio source is always in front of you. So you have no real reference point of where your teammates are or where your enemies are. With Axon, now you can communicate with your teammates, and if someone is uh, behind you to the right, you'll know that. And as that person moves to their flank, and if, let's say, there is a wall or some sort of obstacle in between, that audio will become muffled so that you have a greater understanding of the awareness of where the location of your teammates or your surroundings. So it really gives that sort of 3D element to gaming. So how would our users add that technology to the gaming system? That uh, technology will be incorporated into the game and um, you just uh, play along and then it'll uh, be incorporated into headsets or um, it, and then um, PCs. Okay. Well David, it's been great to meet you. Thanks very much for your time. And that's all we've got time for from the Dolby stand at this year's CES. Tune in again for more coverage coming very soon.